We're back here on TV 18. Thanks for hanging out mm -hmm. with us. Grab another cup of coffee. You don't want to miss um, what we're chatting about with Jane here, District 1 County Commissioner. Thanks again for hanging You're out welcome. with us. Um, so broadband, big thing on your platform, mm -hmm. very important yes. to you. Tell me where we are as a county with broadband and kind of where you want to go with it. Broadband is important. It's part of what we need is economic development. We need to be attracting more businesses into <laughs> Grand County. And to do that, not only do you need broadband for some businesses, but yep. people moving here are going to want broadband at home. Yeah. One great example, the school moving to Chromebook. Okay. The uh, school IT yeah. manager said, you know, once we gave all these kids Chromebook, we found out how many people didn't have access to good <laughs> broadband. Okay. Because they're using it the, for schoolwork right. and yep. texts. Yep. Okay. So broadband, I think, is critical to continuing yeah. development. We are really close to Denver. Yeah. One concept, one dream, one idea we might have is to become a little further away bedroom community, bringing those location neutral jobs into yeah. Grand County. Okay. And to do that, for someone to work from home, yep. you need a really strong, high upload, fast download, broadband service. Right. Uh, there's a lot of good internet providers. Uh, I've got, thank goodness, I've got internet at my house, yep. thanks to some of these guys who have really worked hard for years and years yeah. to provide broadband to folks like us. Some of it's line of sight, some of it's the hard okay. um, cable, yep. some of it's optic. and you know, thanks to that, I've got enough that I can do spreadsheets. I right. can um, screw up the internet. Yeah. I can buy things right, on the internet. Right. My daughter could do homework. Yep. It is not, however, at the level that somebody who perhaps is in a media business okay. or is doing a lot with pictures, and that's where a lot of media is going got nowadays, it. Got it. doing heavy um, web users. Yep. It might not be enough for someone to run a business out of. Right. So what we need to look at, I feel, in Grand County is getting a high level of service available to as many communities as possible, right. ideally 100%. Okay. So right now, is, is any part of the county at... A high enough percentage that it'd be possible is it just pockets that aren't or are you looking I think there's a lot of pockets okay. that don't have it there's okay. some pockets that have got some great internet yeah. through either developer planning yeah. or they were lucky to be on the line when yeah. it got okay. built okay. I know some people have paid thousands to have hard lines run to their house got it. Okay. Uh, what we need is to figure out a plans to get it more evenly accessible. Okay. Okay. I've heard some people have built houses or bought houses assuming oh, no. assuming they'd right. get the internet totally. service and couldn't. We've even been talking right. to the Board of Realtors, how can we okay. make this yeah. more available? How can we make it better communicated? So we're just starting. Yep. We're just okay. on the cusp of okay. this and we've formed as a subset of the economic development group which is formed of people from all um, three districts okay. of the county, a subgroup to work on broadband development. Yeah. One of the things we're looking at is getting a grant to help us get a more delineated plan where it is, where it isn't. Okay. And okay. then we can start uh, looking at what project is taking care of this now, some of this CAF 2 money from, I believe, CenturyLink. And then where okay. can we get some grants? Yep. There are grants out there. We're a government entity. We can right. apply for these grants. Right. But people give money to people with plans. <laughs> so until we, we a have plan. a plan, right, right. until we have that broadband plan, right. I think it's going to be tougher to get yeah. money. So that's the okay. first thing we're okay. going to look at. And are you leading that subcommittee? Are you a part, you're a part of that? I'm a part of it okay. because I'm really interested. Yeah. I like to solve problems. Yeah. We're getting a huge amount of support from Diane Butler, okay. our economic developer, okay. economic development manager at yeah. the county. She's been doing a super job okay. with this. Okay. She finds grants in all kinds of places. <laughs> Diane is good at yeah. getting money. Okay, and she has a team, um, mm -hmm. or she, so she's the economic she's development doing. manager, you said, so she mm -hmm. has a team. How is that process going? Is it new to the county? I think the county's been working on it for a while, okay. and what I'm wondering is where should we be going with this? Right. What business do we want to attract to yep. Grand County? How should we attract it? Mm -hmm. Should we hope it comes, <laughs> or should we be going out yeah. to recruit it? Right, right. So that's one of the things we're looking at. The recent music festivals. Yeah. yeah. Now, for better or for worse, it was a great experience. Yeah. Our uh, planning manager, Bill Gray, did a right. super job working with them. 
And one of the things he said was at the end of this, he uh -huh. says, I've got a ton of knowledge. Right, right. And so we thought, why don't we put together a package that we could sell on music festivals. Okay. We'll see how the festival goes with the Divide this yep, summer. Yep, yep. There'll be a There's lot of a learnings. Lot, yep. These people look, they're great to work with. Good. We'll put together some learnings, um, perhaps put together a package, and then yep, start selling Yep, this is our it. ideal. This is what mm -hmm. we can do. And Who's out is, there? This is what we want to do, yeah. make sure the towns, yeah. we get support, okay. and start marketing it. Very that That's one idea. Yeah. If yeah. this is where, really where we want to go, right. and then maybe we'll get some feedback. Maybe we need to develop some more infrastructure in right. these locations. Maybe there's more we can do to attract them. Okay. Okay. So I think we can do more with this, but we are just learning. Yeah. I know there's uh, yeah. you know, some decisions, have we made right decisions or wrong, mm -hmm. and we are learning too with this. Okay, okay. and that all kind of rolls up into the economic development plan yes. and, and what Diane's doing and mm -hmm. what you guys are doing. Because we want a base of businesses that are year-round. Yes. That are bringing people into the county yep. um, who see this as we do, as right. a great place to live, super people. Right and who want to live here and help us make this yeah. a better, more yeah. thri even more thriving community. Yeah, yeah and year-round, I think that that's the hardest thing, right? Is year -round trying to employment. understand that and what that mm -hmm. looks like and um, yeah. trying to extend both seasons either way and yes. see if we can get them to connect sometime. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think so. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Okay, well, this has been very awesome for me. I feel like I'm learning more than, mm -hmm. or than I probably should actually already know. But um, we're going to talk a little bit more when we come back from okay. another break, um, kind of recap what, what you're doing and what okay. you want to stand for. And um, we'll be back here on Team 18 with James. So don't go anywhere.